Oh, he cuts him off for the win. Huge crash over the crush cart. They're even coming down. Huge jump. Oh, who won? So close. Dragon crashes off the very first jump. Wow. Hello and welcome. Welcome. Welcome to our time for adventures. You are now watching the most exciting diecast monster truck racing channel on YouTube. 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 Please comment with your favorite trucks and races you would like to see. And thank you for watching our time for adventures. Welcome back to our bracket racing tournament where 16 trucks will compete and only one will win. And that winner's team will move on to the next round. Let's meet the trucks. For today's races, we have Spin Master Zombie versus Hunter Series. We'll start with El Toro Loco Zombie, Blue Thunder Zombie, Megalodon Zombie, Earthshaker Hunter, Dragon Zombie, Zombie Zombie, Monster Mutt Dalmatian Zombie, and Son of a Digger Hunter. And for the second team competing, we have Grave Digger Zombie, Monster Mutt Rottweiler Zombie, Monster Mutt Zombie, Soldier Fortune Hunter, Mohawk Warrior Zombie, Pirate's Curse Zombie, Northern Nightmare Zombie, and Max D Hunter. Let's see how the bracket will lay out. Here's a look at how the bracket will lay out for today's race. And just like any good zombie thriller, the hunters are way outnumbered by the zombies. We have 12 zombie trucks racing and only four hunters. Do the hunters have what it takes to bring home a win? Let's head over to the track and find out with race number one. For the first matchup, we have Hunter Max D versus Zombie El Toro Loco. Let's go racing. Great entry going into the jump. Max D's little ahead, El Toro Loco to the left. Oh, but Max D already takes the win. Let's take another look in slow-mo. As they come down the ramp, looks like El Toro Loco is already starting to go a little left off to the left side of that jump. And he's on the left side of the crush cars when he hits it. Two wheels off the side, but Max D already has the win across the line. Great first race. With El Toro Loco not having a very clean run, Max D takes the easy win in round one. Let's head back over to the track where race number two is staged and ready to go. For this race, we have Zombie Northern Nightmare versus Zombie Blue Thunder. Let's go racing. Both trucks side by side coming into the jump. Great jump by both of them. Oh, even over the crush cars, who's it gonna be? Oh, so close, I can't tell. Definitely have to take another look at this one in slow motion. As they launch, both trucks are perfectly side by side coming down the ramp and into the jump. Big air for both of them, smooth landing. Blue Thunder's tire hits that center jump, pops them up, slows them down just a little bit. This is still a photo finish, let's take a look. This could be the closest race we've had so far, but it looks like Northern Nightmare by just the front of the tire. Wow, so awesome. Amazing second race for this tournament with Northern Nightmare just pulling out the victory over Blue Thunder. And back over at the starting gate, race number three is lined up and ready to go. Let's check it out. For race number three, we have Pirate's Curse Zombie and Megalodon Zombie. Let's go racing. Pirate's Curse wobbles a little coming down the entry ramp, but big jump for both trucks. Pirate's Curse a little sideways. Oh, Megalodon goes over the center jump as they come down to the finish. Oh, another close race. Wow, this is wild. Let's take another look from a different angle. As they come down, Pirate's Curse does turn just a little bit coming into the jump, but keeps it under control. Megalodon jumps off to the side a little, goes up over that second jump, but still quick. And boom, another photo finish. Let's take a look. Looks like Megalodon is ahead by just a tire tread. Wow, if these races keep staying this close, I'm gonna have to get better cameras. <laughs> these races today are absolutely awesome, but Megalodon edges out Pirate's Curse by just a tire. We had Hunter Max D win the first race of this round. Can another Hunter truck move on? Let's find out now. For race number three, we have Mohawk Warrior Zombie in the blue lane and Hunter Earthshaker in the red lane. Let's race. Hunter Earthshaker with a huge hole shot coming out of the gate. First to the jump, and oh! Oh, he's going sideways, he crashes, he can't hold it. Mohawk Warrior crosses the lanes into the red lane, but crosses the finish line for the win, wow. These races today are intense. Let's take another look in slow-mo. 
Coming down the ramp, Earthshaker's definitely quicker and takes the lead, but he just turns coming into this jump, starts leaning sideways, lands on two wheels and flips. Mohawk Warrior jumps the center jump onto the red lane, but still wins. What a race. We have some great action in close races today, but Mohawk Warrior pulls out the win over Earthshaker. The Hunter Truck sure were outnumbered in the beginning, but now only one Hunter's moving on to second round so far. Let's head to the next race and see if another Hunter can pull out a win. Up next, we have Hunter Soldier Fortune racing Zombie Dragon. Let's go racing. They're perfectly side by side coming down the ramp. Oh, what happened to Zombie? He hit the top of that jump and just flipped. Hunter Soldier Fortune with an easy win, but let's take a look and see what happened to Zombie. They're really even coming down. The race is looking great. And then as he jumps, boom, he just flips over like the back tire dug in. One flip back to the wheels, but Soldier Fortune already takes the win. Great race. These races never seem to disappoint. Soldier Fortune beating out Dragon in that round. Let's head back to the track where we have two more zombie trucks ready to battle the crush cars. Let's go. For this race, we have Zombie Monster Mutt in the blue lane versus Zombified Zombie in the red lane. Let's race. Coming down, Monster Mutt turns just a little bit. Big jump. Oh, he lands on the front wheel, slows him down. Zombie across the line for the win. Great one. Here's another look. Coming down the ramp, Monster Mutt turns just a little bit, hits that divider, slows him up, and then lands right on the front wheel, slows him way down. Zombie hits that center obstacle, jumps a little bit, but still to the line first for the win. With Monster Mutt having a hard time, Zombie takes the easy win in that round. Heading back to the track where the next two trucks are ready to roll. For this race, we have Zombie Rottweiler versus Zombie Dalmatian. Let's go. Which zombie dog will be victorious? Huge jump, Dalmatian a little sideways. Oh, but Rottweiler hits the crush car and flips. Dalmatian for the win. This is wild. Let's take another look in slow-mo. Great entrance and jump by both trucks. Here they come. Rottweiler's a little bit off, tries to correct, hits that center jump and just flips, can't hold it. Dalmatian across the line for the win. Great race. A whole lot of excitement going on today, but Rottweiler crashes, giving the win to Dalmatian. Let's head back over to the replica track for the last race of round number one. For this race, we have Zombie Gravedigger in the blue lane against Hunter, Son of a Digger in the red lane. Let's race. Coming down the ramp, Son of a Digger starts to pull away. Big jump. Oh, but Gravedigger lands funny, turns a little involved, completely misses the crush cars. Tries to correct, but it's too late. He missed the obstacle. Son of a Digger will be the winner. We've got to take a look at this one in slow-mo. What happened to Grave Digger as he comes down? Looks like a good jump at first. Then he comes down, lands on the front wheel sideways, turns, misses the cars, tries to correct, and it's already over. Son of a Digger for the win. Grave Digger did cross the line first, but he missed the crush cars being eliminated. So Son of a Digger will be the winner. And that will conclude the first round of racing. Let's head back over to the track in the pits and meet the trucks moving into the second round. There was some amazing races in the first round with some great close finishes and big crashes. But here, let's meet the trucks moving on to round number two. We have Zombie and Hunter Son of a Digger, Soldier Fortune Hunter and Monster Mutt Dalmatian Zombie, Northern Nightmare and Mohawk Warrior Zombies, and Hunter Max D and Megalodon Zombie. Let's take a look at how the bracket will lay out for round two. The Hunter trucks managed to do pretty good in round one, having three of the four trucks moving on to the second round. Let's see if they can take down the zombies or if the zombies will win. Let's get started. Up first, we have Hunter Max D in the blue lane, racing Zombie Megalodon in the red lane. Let's go. And down the ramp we go. Big jump from both trucks. Oh, Max D crashes over the crush cars. He can't hold it. Megalodon for the win. Let's take another look at that one in slow-mo, see what happened to Max D. As they come down, both trucks super smooth. Max D jumps a little bit right, goes off to the side of the crush cars, tires dig to the dirt, and he just flips. But on the red side of the track, Megalodon had a nice smooth run and takes the easy win. Great race. Well, in the first race of the second round, Max D Hunter is eliminated. Zombie Megalodon takes the win. Now we head back over to the track for the next race. Let's go. For this race, we'll for sure have a zombie moving on as we have Northern Nightmare Zombie racing Mohawk Warrior Zombie. Let's go. 
Coming down the ramp smooth. Here we go. Oh, Mohawk Warrior turns right at the bottom of the ramp, misses the crush cars. Easy win for Northern Nightmare. Let's take another look in slow-mo, see if we can see what happened to Mohawk Warrior as he comes down the ramp. He's already going off to the left as he hits the jump, just can't control it, misses the crush cars completely. But look at Northern Nightmare over the crush car, so smooth, great win. Well, Mohawk Warrior just couldn't hold it and fellow zombie Northern Nightmare takes the win. For race number three, let's see if the Hunter trucks can hold on. Let's head to the track and find out. In the blue lane, we have Hunter Soldier Fortune racing zombie monster mutt Dalmatian, let's go. Coming down the ramp, big air. Oh, Dalmatian nose is over, hard landing, can't hold it over the crush cars. Let's see if we can see what happened from our track cam. Coming down the ramp, nice even race, they're head to head. Off the jump, they're still leaving, Dalmatian just goes left. But look at Soldier Fortune popping a wheelie over the crush cars for the win. So far, we have two zombies moving on, and that win for Soldier Fortune moves him into the semifinals as the first hunter truck. Only one race left in the second round. Let's head back to the track and find out who's going to move on. For this race, we have Zombie in the blue lane and Hunter Son of a Digger in the red lane. Let's race. Both trucks coming even into the jump. Wait, Son of a Digger turns right, hits the center obstacle and jumps, but did Zombie hit all the crush cars? Who was first to the line? We definitely have to check this in slow motion and find out what's going on. We know this one was a close race, but watch Zombie at the end to see if he hits all the crush cars. If not, he will be eliminated. As they launch and start coming down the ramp, they're both even coming into the jump. Son of a Digger turns right and heads toward that center jump, but watch Zombie. Yes, he does hit the last crush car and is first to the line. Zombie will take out Son of a Digger Hunter. Wow. We have had some absolute heartbreaks today, but with Zombie taking out Son of a Digger, that leaves only one hunter truck left for the semifinals. Let's head over to the pits once again and meet the trucks moving on. Your semifinalists for this tournament will be Zombie Megalodon and Hunter Soldier Fortune, as well as Zombie Northern Nightmare and Zombie. Here's one more look at the bracket and how the races are laid out. Does Hunter Soldier Fortune have what it takes to take down the zombies? Let's head to the track and find out right now. For the first race of the semifinals, we have Zombie Megalodon in the blue lane, taking on Soldier Fortune Hunter in the red lane. Let's go racing. Great launch from both trucks. Nice and even coming into the jump. Big air. It's still even over the crush cars. Oh, another photo finish. Who won? Definitely look at slow-mo for this one. Coming down the ramp, they're both super smooth. Into the jump even. Soldier Fortune has a little longer jump over the crush cars. They're so smooth. Oh, just can't tell. It's so close. I'm going to have to take a vote here. Be right back. Okay, the votes are in. And because of the little yellow blur over the checkered stripe, Megalodon does take the win. This is so close. This has got to be the closest racing we have ever had. But Megalodon does take out Hunter. Soldier Fortune just by a tread. Let's head back over to the track for the second race of the semifinals. For this race, we have Zombie Northern Nightmare racing Zombie. Let's go. Zombie's ahead right out of the gate. First to the jump. Huge air. Oh, but Northern Nightmare smacks the center jump and slows down. Easy win for Zombie. Let's take another look. Right out of the gate, it was Zombie in the red lane taking the lead. First to the jump and big air. As Northern Nightmare comes to the center, he smacks the center obstacle and slows down. Northern Nightmare never had a chance. It was Zombie all the way. We have had some great semifinals racing action, but Zombie takes out Northern Nightmare, moving him into the final round. Let's head over to the pits one more time and meet the trucks moving on to the finals. For this finals round, we have Zombie Northern Nightmare taking on Hunter Soldier Fortune, racing for third place. And we have Zombie Megalodon taking on Zombie, racing for first place to see who will bring home that trophy for this tournament. Here's one more look at the bracket. Now let's head back over to the track and get ready for the race for third place. Let's go. Hunter Soldier Fortune and Zombie Northern Nightmare are staged and ready to go. Let's race. And they're off. Down the entry ramp they go. Oh, Soldier Fortune hits the jump, turns left over the center obstacle. Northern Nightmare cuts him off for the win. Wow. Let's take a look in slow motion. Right out of the gate, Soldier Fortune seems to lose traction as he's coming down the ramp. He jumps to the left, coming down that ramp, over towards the center, and then boom, Northern Nightmare cuts him off, making sure he can't get the win. What a strategy by Northern Nightmare. With that race for third, 
Zombie Northern Nightmare will take out Hunter Soldier Fortune for third place. It will be an all zombie podium here for this tournament today. But now it is time for the race everyone has been waiting for. This is the final round. The trucks are staged and ready to go. We have Zombie Megalodon in the blue lane and Zombie Racing from the red lane. Let's go racing. And they're off. Here we go down the ramp. Into the jump there even. Zombie has a huge jump almost all the way to the cars. But oh, Megalodon on two wheels coming off the crush cars to the line. Who's the winner? Another photo finish for the final round. This is wild. As they launch and start to come down the ramp, both trucks are perfectly even into the jump. Tire to tire, Zombie has a much bigger jump and Megalodon just hits the crush cars, pops on two wheels, slows them down and Zombie takes the win in the red lane. Well, after 16 rounds of amazing races, big crashes and photo finishes, Zombie finally takes out Zombie Megalodon in the final round for the win. It's pretty fitting that the Zombified Zombie Truck is the overall winner of today's race in the Zombie vs. Hunters Tournament. Let's head over to the winner circle and check out the trucks with the trophy. These three trucks have had some great races today and they look great up here on these podiums. What do you say we help them celebrate? Thanks again for watching Our Time for Adventures. Until next time.